Hello, today we offer a review of Sigwent latest products, namely arbitrary waveform function generators of SDG1000X series. These are the most functional devices in the budget segment. There are two models in the model line, an SDG1032X model. It is now in front of you with 30 MHz maximum frequency of the output signal. Also, there is a 1062 model, which has a 60 MHz maximum frequency of the output signal. They are two-channel arbitrary waveform function generators, and the maximum sampling frequency is 150 MHz. The function generator has dimensions and weight that are standard for the devices in its class. On the front panel we have a display, controls, connectors of output channels 1 and 2. On the corners there are rubber plugs for safety. These rubber plugs are also on the back panel. Here we also have a power cable connector, a USB port, a LAN connector, a frequency meter input, a universal input-output, a 10 MHz reference signal input and an earthing terminal. There is a convenient carry handle. It can also be used as a holder. The package includes a power cable, a USB cable, a driver CD, and a brief user guide. Well, now we'll take a closer look at the device functionality. For this purpose, we'll study in more detail the front panel. Apart from the display, there is a USB port for connecting flash drives, a power button, function buttons, a numeric keypad, a rotary encoder, buttons to switch between discharges, on-off buttons for output channels 1 and 2 respectively, and the function buttons for turning on different functions. Well, let's first consider what kind of waveforms our generator can generate. So, a sine wave up to 30 MHz, a meander, a sawtooth waveform, a pulse wave, noise, a constant signal, we can set the displacement both in one direction and in the other. We also have arbitrary waveforms, meaning that you can select waveforms that were previously saved by the user or that were already built in. Let's look at built-in signals. Since there are 196 built-in signals in this generator, they are divided into different groups to make it easier for the user to navigate. For example, there is a group of common waveforms. Here is a rising sawtooth signal. There is also a group of mathematical functions, so you can choose, say, the cube of x. There are actually quite a lot of them, and for this reason, they are divided into groups. There is even a group of medical waveforms, which are most likely intended to be used when setting up some different medical equipment. And that's one of the advantages of this generator. Other generators in this price range, or even more expensive ones, usually have 30 to 40 previously saved waveforms. This one has almost 200. Another advantage that distinguishes Siglent of SDS-1000X series among their competitors is the ability to work with harmonic components. It means that you don't just set, let's say, the sine wave with the first harmonic of 1 kHz, and that's it, you already have a signal, but you can also work with the second, third harmonic and so on, up to the tenth. For example, here we have a sine wave with a frequency of 1 kHz. Now, let's set the second harmonic amplitude, say, 1 volt peak to peak. As we can see, the signal is changing. Thus, we can move both along even and odd harmonics. That is, you can, say, generate a meander. We won't be able to recreate an ideal meander in this way, because we only have 10 harmonics. So there will be 5 elements, the first, third, fifth, 7th and 9th harmonics. Well, let's give it a try. I have already expanded the meander in a Fourier series, meaning I already have these amplitude coefficients recorded and entered. I have already created this waveform and saved it in the internal memory. Now we will display it on the screen. So, here is our meander.
and of course it differs from the ideal one. That's because there are just basically five elements here, from the first harmonic to the ninth. The function is actually very interesting, and compared to Brands, simply do not have it. Let's consider the remaining functions. Modulation. There are several types available here. These are amplitude modulation, frequency modulation, phase modulation, frequency shift keying, amplitude shift keying, phase shift keying, suppressor amplitude modulation, and pulse frequency modulation. A sweep mode is also available, the so-called frequency sweep mode. You specify the initial frequency, the final frequency, and the duration of the process. And your frequency changes within these values. And there is also a pulse mode. This generator has one more interesting function. This is the waveform combine function. For example, on channel 1 we have one signal, and on channel 2 the other one. We can display the sum of these signals at any of these outputs. Now you can see a sine waveform on channel 1, with the frequency of 1 kHz, and a triangular waveform on channel 2, with a frequency of 3 kHz. Here it is right here. And now we go to Utilities, Output Settings, select the Wave Combine function, and send the sum of these signals to output 1. The same can be done for output 2. And on channel 1 we leave our sine waveform. Among budget-friendly generators, Sigland SDG1032X and SDG1062X have virtually no competitors. Under the same conditions, these devices offer a number of unique functions. First, it's an opportunity to work with harmonic components up to 10 harmonics. Second, it's 196 built-in waveforms. And last but not least, an interesting output waveform combined function.